What is going on? My name is Ario DeJuiced from ariodejuice.com. Be sure to join the email list, which is at the ariodejuice.com website. What I'll do is leave a URL of the website in the box below, the, the description box of this video or podcast episode. Yes, so sign up, and I very much keep saying this. The main reason why it's important to sign up, excuse me, parched throat, the main reason why it's so important to sign up as a member is because if something were to happen to this channel, if this channel or podcast gets taken down by YouTube or for whatever reason, we still have each other's contact information, which is email address. So do not get left behind. Be responsible. Sign up to the email list so we have each other's contact and uh, we don't lose each other's contact. So do that right now. Make your way over to the website again. Ariotijuice.com, my first and last name.com. The link is in the box below. Click on it. Um, it will take you to a one page website. Scroll all the way to the very bottom of the page. You'll see a section to leave your first name, your last name, your email address, obviously. That's where you can become a member of the email list. So sign up today, right? <sighs> Let's talk. Mouthful. So this video is going to be not just about fully rock or steam it, but it kind of goes a little deeper than her but i do want to speak about her situation or should i say her past situation with her um boyfriend cash right now their relationship both cash and christina right they their relationship hits home for me because well uh, christina is a she's known as a caucasian woman right cash is known as a so-called black person or a black man my wife is Caucasian and I'm known as a black man right so again cash and Chris Christina's Christina's relationship hits home for me a lot because they're known as an interracial couple or they used to be a couple and that's what my uh, my wife and I were known as an interracial couple or marriage or married right so again it goes way deeper than Christina, right? This topic goes way deeper than just her. What I really want to talk about how some people, to this very day, right? Some people still leave comments where they're sharing their thoughts on how it's not appropriate for Caucasian women or Caucasian people to date outside their race. Or the same uh, for a so-called black person to date outside their race, right? Some people are still, some people still have this way of thinking in 2023. And it blows my brain that some people are still talking like this, right? This is not the 1940s or 50s. Like, that's the old world conversation where, oh, you know, so called black people can't really, you know, date or mess with white people because it just not, it's not good. It goes against, you know, each other race. It's bad for whatever. Like that's 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 the old world way of thinking, and it should stay there, right? In twenty twenty three and beyond, I think it's safe to say that a lot of people, like people like you and me, right? People like you and me, we have moved past this race war, this whole thing about you know interracial couples, and you know it's still a taboo to see a Caucasian woman, you know, marry or date a you know, so-called black man or the opposite, you know, a so-called black woman date or marry a so-called Caucasian man, right? This is still taboo for a lot of people. And to be honest, I think it'll always be a taboo for a lot of people because they're still stuck in the old world, right? Just like someone that's still stuck wearing or I don't know, like someone's still playing CDs, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But there's new technologies, there's other opportun not opportunities, but there's other options, I'll say, to listen to music, you know, in a more convenient way than a CD player, right? Some people still play CDs, and it's cool. I'm not, not you know, trying to trash people that still does that. But again, there's other options that are a little convenient than a CD player or a CD. So again, some people are just stuck in their old ways and that could be a good and bad thing. But for this case, or in this case of, you know, race, I think it's becoming 
very embarrassing. If you're that person, right? If, if that's you watching this, if you're that person where you still feel that it's inappropriate, right? This it's not it's not this appropriate thing to do of dating outside of your race. I think that's becoming a very embarrassing way of thinking because again, people today's people are if if anything they move past that whole conversation or that whole you know um, nonsense of race wars. Like we, and when I say we, I mean people like you and I. We just want to be around pleasant people, right? We want to be around people who are going in the same direction that we're going in, which is living your life to the max meeting new people, trying new recipes, traveling, discovering, exploring, having fun, and still raising your family, still, you know, uh, protect your household, still honor your wife or your husband, your spouse, partner, whatever. We, we just want to be around pleasant people with good character. That's really what's going on. And this is why, to me, Christina and Cash made sense. Because they enjoy what well, back then they enjoy each other's you know um, presence basically right they look past the skin color thing just got with each other because at that time they enjoyed each other's presence she liked she liked it, his character he liked her character and they became a couple this is beautiful right regardless of their skin color regardless of their ethnicity nationality <laughs> a bunch of again stupid old ways of thinking like I, I don't care personally of your tradition or culture I sub not, not supported by I respect it obviously right but I do not care my first thing that I you know focus on when I meet people is their character are you someone that you know, comes off as a pleasant individual that I may be around or the opposite. If that makes any sense, right? If that makes any sense. I don't know why would you want to be around people who are unpleasant, people who are troublemakers, people who are always complaining, people who are always begging for money or asking the government to help them because they deserve reparation, they deserve something because they're oppressed, or just people who are always negative, right? Not really trying to help you evolve into a better person. I hope I'm making sense. People who can't help you evolve into a better person, people who cannot be there for you, or just supporting whatever thing that you're trying to do, whatever project or whatever goal you're trying to accomplish. If, if that person or people can't help you, feel good about yourself or just help you grow into a better person each day I think you're around the wrong people and I don't care what they look like they may look just like you in terms of your skin color but if they're just not pleasant people I would I mean if, if I were you if I were you I would keep my distance I'll keep my distance I need well I don't I won't say need but I much prefer people who are pleasant Right. This is why I got with my wife because she, I love her character. She is a awesome person, family oriented, educated, driven, successful, fun to be around. You know, she's nice to me. She takes care of me. A pleasant woman. Right. I come home and I come on to a very pleasant individual. She's not a troublemaker. She's not trying to be in the scene you know like in the crowds and the nightclubs and she she's very just reserved and private quiet and i love that i love her character that's why i got with her the same thing with cash and christina i think well at that time cash again saw something in her that he found to be peaceful pleasant and she may feel the same way about him and they they're both good looking people they were attracted to each other. Beautiful. I don't see a problem. I just because they don't look alike in terms of their skin color may be different. Why does that even matter? Why do you care so much about skin color? I think the household you were raised in maybe that helped you become the person that you are today. 
of focusing so much on ethnicity and someone's skin color. Like to me, that's, you know, I don't wanna say the R word, you know, that's rape is, but it, it kind of feels like that because who's teaching you to think this way? Who's teaching you to automatically, you know, shut down people who don't look like you just because of their skin color? That's crazy. That's insane because the people who look the opposite of you may be the people that's going to help you evolve into, the, uh, into a better person, right? You being, a, for example, you being a Caucasian person, by you not limiting yourself of meeting people or just being around different people, you may meet someone who's the complete opposite of you, right? In terms of skin color, like the nationality, just the, the complete opposite. That person may be the individual that's going to help you grow into a better human being, right? Better than the people who look just like you, who does not provide that type of energy to you, but they look just like you, right? Just because they look like you does not mean they have your best interest. I hope that makes sense, right? I'll say it one more time. Just because someone that may look like you, may look like you in terms of the skin complexion and all that, just because they look like you, look like you, it does not mean they have your best interest. The people who are the opposite of you may have your best interest for whatever reason. So again, don't shut down people because of their appearance. Don't already just stereotype them or judge them and just kind of like brush them off because of the way they look. Give people a chance. Give people a chance and see what happens. Right? Again, this is home for me. And that's why I said earlier, this goes beyond Christina and Cash. It, this, it goes beyond their relationship or their old relationship. This is more a topic about critical thinking. I'll say that, right? People who practice critical thinking are not confused. They're aware of what's going on. They make better decisions because they're aware of their surroundings. They, they seem to very much live life, you know, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'll, I'll say that, right? Because they, 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 they know what's going on, right? They know exactly what's taking place and they're not being finessed or tricked because they're aware. I hope I'm making sense. And if I'm not, if I'm not making sense, I do apologize. But my whole point again was this topic or this episode for this podcast, this goes way deeper than just Cash and Christina. It's really about critical thinking. Thinking for yourself, right? Not letting someone like me, not letting someone like, excuse me, oh, excuse me, not, not letting someone like, you know, Black Lives Matter or Omar Johnson, not letting these so-called leaders think for you and, and you do the opposite. You think for yourself. You see for you, you see what's going on and do more research, investigation. Just kind of be aware of what's going on so you're not a victim because you're not aware. You are not, you know, like you are not really, <laughs> you, you, you're so oblivious to everything for whatever reason, right? Become the opposite. Become the complete opposite. You know, do research, critical thinking, think for yourself. See if something that I'm saying is true or not valid. That's your job to see if it's true or false, right? It's your job to see if it's correct or not. It may require some work, but it's worth it because now you're this responsible adult that's not so oblivious to everything. You, you are very much aware of what's going on. That's the healthiest way of thinking or living life when you're aware. You know what's going on and you take action. So again, Beyond Christina and Cash's relationship, it goes beyond that, but critical thinking. But it just blows my brain how some people are leaving comments stating how she or he should not date outside their race. It's not good for the so-called culture. It's not good for the so-called white culture or the black culture dating, you know, um, someone who looks different than you do. It's, it's, it's disgusting. Again, my wife is Caucasian. She's done a whole lot for me. I've discovered a lot of things because of her. I got a chance to visit Europe for the first time because she's from Europe. 
Um, it's, it's amazing. It's freaking amazing. That's because I, I did not limit myself to meet people, right? I'm glad I'm not this person of just shutting down people automatically because they don't look like me. I think that's the dumbest thing. It's no different than someone voting for Obama because of his skin color or his so-called race. A lot of a lot of you voted for Obama because of his skin color, not for what he can do for you, not not know of his policies or his plans. You knew nothing but just his skin color. This is how they got you. This is how they play you, right? Again, I keep saying this. This goes way deeper than Christina. It's just being aware, man. That's that's really my argument. Is just be aware of what's going on and take action so you're not a victim from whatever is going on. I hope I'm making sense. I pray to God I'm making sense. But much love to both Cash and Christina. They broke up, obviously. But much love to both of these two because, again, their situation hits home for me because I'm currently married to a beautiful, you know, successful, so-called Caucasian woman. And life is awesome. We live in a nice apartment, two little dogs. We just, we travel a lot. Life is freaking great. We're going to go paddle boarding tomorrow <laughs> at the beach. Looking forward to that. First time doing that. Life is great. Life is awesome. But again, critical thinking. Practice critical thinking. Much love to you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video or episode. Peace out.